Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be going over ways to help motivate yourself to go and work out even during this awful pandemic COVID that we're dealing with. I, like many people, have been using the excuse, well, the gyms aren't open, so I can't work out and I'm just going to wait until they open back up. That's a recipe for disaster. So lately I've been trying to get myself motivated and I found that these tips really help. Hopefully they can help you as well. Secret number one, buy some new workout clothes. I have found that whenever I go out and buy new clothes or get my hair done, just invest in myself physically, I feel so much better. I feel so much more positive. I want to go out and I want to do things. And if you get some really good workout clothes that make you feel good, like right now I'm wearing one of my just a cute $5 Walmart shirt. It doesn't take a lot to make you feel good. Look at me today, looking fresh. It'll just boost your confidence and make you want to go out and have fun and work out. Secret number two is put on some good music. Whatever music you're into that makes you want to work out, dance, feel good, put it on. Mine personally is EDM music. I'm super into like Kygo and all the top hits. I'm basic. Whatever it is, just put it on your headphones or put it on the speakers at your house. Make it known that you were working out today. Just get yourself psyched up, like, yeah, let's do this. Whenever I think of like good music and getting pumped, I always think of that guy, what's his name? I'll think of it. But remember back in the day, he used to do those workout videos and he had the big fro and he was so much fun and he got people motivated. Secret number three is probably the most important to your motivational workout journey. This secret will help you keep going not just do one workout but keep doing multiple workouts you need to find something that is active but also that you love doing not everyone is built to do just the gym every day crossfit you know weights only some people like to dance some people like to do yoga some people like to go for runs hikes biking Whatever it is, do that. If you're like, I don't know what I like to do, the way you find out what works for you is to find out what doesn't work for you. Just write a list. Man, I'd really like to try belly dancing or I'd really like to try Zumba class or I'd really like to try kayaking or surfing or swimming or whatever it is. Go through that list one by one and if you decide, man, I just really hate Zumba class, cross it off your list you don't have to do it. And then just keep going until you find like, wow, this is amazing. How did I not know about this? And then look at you, you got a new hobby, you're having a good time. You can even go to, I think there's like certain meetups where they go and I think they still practice social distancing. Social distancing, can't even say it. You could just meet some new people, wear a mask, go do something fun. But I'll be honest, staying home and working out is fine too. I have had some of my best workouts at home, whether it's in workout clothes or even in my pajamas. Because at the end of the day, no one cares what you look like at your house but you. It's a lot more fun and you can just be you and not care what anybody else thinks. And for those of you who only like to work out at the gym with weights, machines, you can do one of two things. First thing you can do, is buy some home workout equipment. I've seen a lot of people do this lately. They've been working on building their own little in-home basement gyms, buy maybe like a, a weight bench, some weights, a treadmill, make it happen. Because obviously we're not gonna be going back to the gyms for a long time. Or you could also find workouts online that just use your body weight. And those workouts that I'm talking about, they're usually like very intense. Like, it's almost like that, is it interval intensity, interval training, something like that. But usually you'll find yourself doing push-ups, sit-ups, you know, all those types of workouts. And I'm not gonna lie, they're pretty challenging. They are not for the faint of heart. Like, you really need to know what you're doing and get going, you know what I'm saying? And at the end of those workouts, I really feel like I worked out. Even though I didn't use weights or whatever, I feel like, oh snap, that was a lot. <laughs> and those are all the tips that I have for today. If you have any helpful workout tips, comment them down below. And I hope this video helped you get motivated. And if you like this video, please subscribe to help support my channel. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.